What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Cletus Seldon Has No Life. Today, uh, we have the part two of the weekly Funko Roundup. In part one, I uh, discussed the Funko Pops that I was uh, that I picked up for the week. And in part two, we go over the Pops that uh, were release, uh, released on their Funko blog. As well as what Pops that you should be looking out for this week as well. So, starting out with... Uh, on, uh, there wasn't too many uh, pops that they had released on their thing, so it's going to be a nice, quick, short video. Coming soon, Baywatch, which I did not know that, and the Godfather pops. I heard in a, a few things, but I did not know about these Baywatch pops. So let's start out with the Godfather that first, though, and uh, let's get into it. Pop movies, the Godfather, 389. <whistles> that line's getting long, huh? To celebrate the 45th anniversary of the iconic film, The Godfather, Funko is making an an offer you can't refuse <laughs> the Colleone crime family in pop vinyl form. Collect Mafia Don Vito Colleone and his son Michael, Sonny, and Fredo. Michael Colleone is also available in a gray suit, available exclusively at FYE. And in his gray suit and hat, available only at Barnes and Nobles. I don't know why it turned into a different accent. Uh, coming this winter. Uh, Vino, uh, Vito Colleone. Pretty cool with the cat. Not going to lie. That looks pretty cool with the cat. Uh, then you got Mike Colleone in suit, like they said. Gray suit. Uh, and uh, the two ones. I uh, was arms crossed. And the Michael Colleone with the hat. Out of them, I highly request and only would go after this particular character, Vito Colleone. Because... He, got, he has the different, look at the skull. And he has like the, the iconic face of the Godfather. When you think of the Godfather, you think of this character right here. And this uh, this pose. So, highly recommend going for that particular one. The other ones, not the biggest fan. But, who knows. Uh, this is also a great line for your fathers uh, that, as well. Your father, grandfather, uh, if you want to get them a, uh, to get them into pops, bam. This is it right here. They love the Godfather. Uh, next up, we got the Baywatch. Did not know they had these. Uh, so it's pretty cool. I know they had the Baywatch movie. Uh, but let's see what these are. Based, hopefully it's based off of the actual show. Uh, the lifeguard of Sonny's Los Angeles, California are here to save the day. From the 90s TV show, yes, Baywatch, Mitch Buckingham and CJ Parker sport their iconic red uniforms and rescue flows collect them all both this winter so yes yeah baby we got ourselves a lifeguard Pamela Anderson's in the house finally we got ourselves a nice pop uh, representing representing uh, I like the sculpt on these two characters Re resembles them very well um, Definitely the one that uh, with Mitch and uh, the CJ Parker perfect. These ones are freaking absolutely perfect Perfect looking pops highly uh, highly happy with it that they made these Funko pops uh, On to the next one. I highly recommend two to the set. That's it. Bam go after them uh, Two of the most popular characters there too. Uh, very nice uh, They had to enter to win as well as their fun cast episode four a uh, clue fast clue furious. Okay, so I'll say this I'm driving in the boxing gym. Usually it takes like 20, 30 minutes, uh, about 40 minutes sometimes to get on home. And I go and blow on this fun cast. This is how you, this is how you uh, sum up this fun cast. Ready? Think of your student government. This episode, all of the episodes that I listened to, because I just wanted to get, get, catch, catch up what's going on out there. And they literally, it's like student government has taken over and all they do, and they just let, laugh and talk uh, minimum Funko actually related uh, news they usually uh, ask just personal questions of each uh, person that's on the show and oh my god it sucks it sucks it's just it's nothing interesting at all nothing interesting at all very disappointing and highly don't recommend it <sighs> sorry Funko sorry I had to say that 100% um, agree Listen, let me know if you guys actually listen to one of them. I have listened to two of them, and oh my god, they suck. Horrible. Horrible. And, and every time you fast forward, it literally goes, 
them talking about themselves and what their thing is. Um, the one benefit they did they talk about is uh, shouting out um, current people that sign up for their like weekly Funko uh, thing and and uh, give them little shout outs for being some kind of collector, which is nice that they do that. But everything else is just horrible. All right. Two new DC Pops are heading to Walgreens. Hmm. They've had uh, Marvel Pops. They've had Star Wars Pops. I haven't been around long enough for DC Pops. Uh, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. But let's check this out. Check out your local Walgreens in February for the new uh, two new DC Pops. Jon Stewart as Green Lantern and Black Suit Joker. Uh, the Green Lantern looks really, really fantastic. Love the way they got that going on there, and with that DC on the uh, box too, right there. Look at that. That's uh, that looks something new to me. I haven't seen that before, and it looks very good, very well done. That's number 180, and number six, the Joker. Um, not the biggest fan as of this character, uh, of Joker, but uh, he's at your local Walgreens. The Green Lantern, though, definitely highly recommend for that one as well. Let's go on to the last page. Yeah, it's a quick week, huh? Woo! We're right back. All right. Uh, coming soon, Walgreens exclusives as well. WWE Pops. Awesome. This is great. The Heartbreak Kid. Let me see if I can still got this. Hit him with some sweet chin music. Hey yeah. Hit him with some sweet chin music. I don't know if I got that on camera or not. Whew. One of my favorite WWE, uh, WWF wrestlers. I can say that. F WWE is garbage. But WWF. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hitman Hart and Devil's Favorite Demon are headed to Walgreens in February. Shawn Michaels, that looks awesome. That looks really, really cool. Uh, how they got the Heartbreak Kid there. And uh, who else? Kane. Kane was the other character. Uh, they don't have a Kane pop, and that thing looks really, really good. Uh, I guess that's how he wears his goatee now. Uh, not the big fan of that. But it is a Kane pop. Looks really, really good. And the Heartbreak Kid. If I could be a character, I'd probably be Heartbreak Kid and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Two favorites by far. Uh, and if you guys don't know, I come out to Hulk Hogan. My music is, I am a real American. That's my song when I come out and fight. Next up. Oh boy. Look at this. <laughs> Coming soon. New previous uh, previews exclusive. Previews so you can get them at your local comic shops. Uh, exclusive Marvel Pops. Check out our latest State of Marvel Heroes, Iron Fist, Black Bolt, and Blade are headed to the comic shop soon. Marvel, Iron Fist. You got your PX exclusive. Uh, you got an Iron Fist uh, as another uh, character, different, uh, different outfit, as well as Black Bolt, Black Bolt with a variant, and Blade, all PX exclusives, which is pretty cool because you actually can go get them all at once at more at uh, at the comic book shops. Now, I don't know if you guys saw this in my uh, probably saw it, but in uh, with this upcoming film coming up, uh, Marvel's uh, YouTube channel actually uh, invited me to be on their show uh, in mid mid February, early uh, March, uh, within the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna say because we're not too far from. Uh, coming into that so that was really cool so we're going to be on that their channel and uh do a little demonstration on boxing and throw a jab and see if we can get some funko pop talks um the way they actually found me on the channel was actually not through my uh, my facebook page that has all my boxing stuff or if you ever googled me and looked me up it's all boxing they actually found me through funko on this funko uh, on my youtube channel because the uh, director is a huge funko fanatic so I highly recommend getting all those Iron Fist Bobs. <laughs> no, but I, uh, they look pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely going to check it out. And they got Blade is in the Iron Fist. So that's going to be pretty cool to check out as well. Um, bam. Bam. Iron Fist. Highly recommend. <laughs> next up. Next up. Hikari Friday Ice Storm Trooper. Uh, you guys know my opinions on that. Out of all these ones, I think the Disney ones sell the most. Like Mickey Mouse or whatever. I don't know about these ones. 1,200 pieces, I guess. Uh, and then they they got their weekly uh, fanatic of the week. Um, got some in-box one. You got some out-of-box one. There's a lot of out-of-box pops right there. I like that Funko sign. Cannot find a Funko sign. I'm looking all over for one. I don't know how to... I'm putting Google every different kind of way. Can't find one. 
Um, what was your first bat? Uh, pop, blah, blah, blah. I guess the next question, I actually never looked through this. What is your favorite fandoms? Blah, blah, blah. How long have you been a collector? Seven years. I was only hitting like seven months, like two months ago. <laughs> um, and then he, him dressed as uh, Jared Breslow as a, um, in his Jenko jeans and his Metallica, and I don't know, his uh, <laughs> Batman shirt back in the 90s, like when he was in high school. Still dressing the same, still acting the same. Jared, you do you, boo-boo. Keep collecting. All right. Uh, and then uh, this was just recently added just now. Uh, boom! Let's let's interrupt that and stop everything right now. And let's get on to this. All right. So, we stop the video right then there. Um, today is the Toy Fair, I guess, they're for London. They're redoing the reveals for them. And they have, like, one literally, like, every, like, two hours today. So, we need to get to that. So, everything that I shot originally, I whatever I was doing, I had to stop it come back so they came out with these guys uh puny and the wonderful world of pops uh they have these characters that are part of it and the horse looks pretty cool that's a new character uh but originally when i first saw that i was like ah, oh, this sucks but then i realized that they were putting up ones every day so we got new uh pop rocks we got joey ramon we got Jimi hendrix um there is a lot of pops that they added so I had to go back and um, add this in there. All right, let's go to the bottom. Bam, hey, keep your eyes closed. We're not to that far yet. Whoa. Uh, Toy, Way, uh, Toy Fair, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers have joined Funko's newest blush line. Uh, we pretty much knew they were going, but I guess they're uh, adding it to there as well. Oh, I swear to God, keep your eyes closed. Don't look at those. All right, ready? London's Toy Fair reveals, finally... 90s Nickelodeon Pops. The Toy Fair. Forget the scrunchies. Revive the 90s with your favorite 90s Nickelodeon characters. Thank you. Woo! It's going to be awesome. Funko is excited to introduce Cat Dog. Ah, real monsters and Rugrats. Here's um, animation of uh, Cat Dog. Um, I hope that's not the finished product. Anyways, at least they're making them. This is freaking awesome. Ah, real monsters with Crumb. Um, Next up, we got Licks and uh, what do we got? Oh no, we got up here. Uh, oh, Obli Ab Amla, I don't know. And uh, Licks, I guess it is. And then we got ourselves uh, the Rugrats, Tommy Pickles. We got the Raptor. We got Chuckle fin uh, Finster, Chucky Finster. That's pretty funny. But they uh, can't wait, can't wait. Finally, we got the '90s line. Um, they're here. Finally, this is awesome. Great start to the uh, to it, and to start out with our uh, real monsters and cat dog. That is going to be such an awesome pop. Everybody's going to want it. Make it, make it flocked. Come on, baby, make it flock. Make it flock for us. Uh, next up is London Toy Fair reveals the 100th pops. Uh, the 100th joins pop television. I, oh, I I literally was like, wow, it's going to be the 100th pop. What is it? Uh, no, it's actually called the 100th. Um, collect all your favorite sky people and grounders from the 100. Uh, Pop Television, Clark, uh, Griffin, uh, Octavius. Uh, let's see anything cool. That looks pretty cool. Um, nothing too big. This one looks really cool. I like the uh, outfit on that guy. Whoever you are. Next up, we got Teen Wolf Pops. Very popular series on MTV a few year, I don't know, years ago. I think, I don't know if it's still running, but I remember a few years ago it was on. Uh, you got Scott McCall, and you got the Wolf, Werewolf. See, they should have did this with the, um, that uh, other one with the Wolf and the, the, you pick the two. I don't know what the hell they're called. A uh, stupid movie that everybody likes. But, uh, well, I don't know. Now you'll find it. I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Who cares? Team, not Team Wolf. Uh, I'll put it in the thing. Anyways, um... Another reveal. This is all happened today in the, like, the past hour, like, couple hours. Uh, DC TV Mystery Minis and Batman, the animated series Wave 2. Very excited about um, how they have the Batman animated series 2 because you're going to see one pop that's really interesting. And you've seen it before in a Batman movie. Um, so here's your mini, mini mysteries. I didn't say which one is the uh, exclusive to each store. But um, some of them look really cool. Uh, the Hawk one looks pretty cool. 
Um, I'm not a big DC fan, but they got some DC ones, whatever. Uh, you got Clayface. You got Bane. Look at that. Bane. Remember the uh, Batman and Robin one with the Riddler? Bane's in this bad boy. It looks just like him. That's so cool. Uh, Robot Batman. Another awesome looking figure. Uh, Phasma. Mm, cool. Catwoman. Dope. Scarecrow. There's another line that I will 100% picking up. Highly recommended it too. Uh, because the first uh, animated series one was so cool. And it was another a death. Definite, 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 definite. Uh, let's go next page. Yoink. All right. Toy Fail reveals Tekken. <laughs> Take everybody's money now. Tekken. Uh, video game as a kid. Played it all the time. So awesome. Uh, so awesome. Uh, look at this character right here. Tekken King. This is by far the coolest pop out of, the, uh, out of everyone I've seen so far. Out of the whole the toy uh, thing, toy fair going on. This pop is amazing. Look at that thing. Make that, just make the face pop, flop. Please, please, please. Oh, metallic. Oh, my God. Make it, please. Ah, oh, man. All of all the characters look really, really cool, but this one is by far the best one I have ever seen. Flack or metallic, I will take it. Let me know if you guys agree. Um... Pee Wee Herman Dorbs. I'm glad they made him as a Dorb because he really is, you know, he's a Dorb. He is that kind of guy. Uh, this one, too. Oh, my God. One of my favorite Disney movies. You probably hear this me say this a million times. My favorite. But this is my favorite Disney movie. It is Ratatouille. Um, the only pops that they had for this were, like, in a really expensive, like, four-pack. Uh, and it, that was for Remy. And it was uh, really expensive. And it's hard to find. Uh, check out Disney's... Uh, offerings ratatouille pops are sure to help you cook up some fun uh, Remy Alfredo and uh, Emily uh, are coming out this year look at these guys oh my god the fat little friend he has this is so cool I love that they did these uh, oh man <clears throat> I, I I yo I next up from Classics Beauty and the Beast Toy Story Little Mermaid Jungle Book Disney's Pint Size Heroes have something for you. I hate these Pint Size Heroes um, where they have the packaging like that. It sucks. You just go in there and you pick out the ones you want. Stupid and a waste of time. I hate that. The, if Maybe if they made it with like a little case or something, that makes it fun. But these little things, I can literally, I found an Emperor Reserve. Okay. I can, um, worst case scenario, I get this Beauty and Beast. If I get this Mickey, worst case scenario, I get the Minnie. Not that hard. Not that hard. Got to know them. How could you not know what they're doing? Uh, Dorbs Inside Out. Um, not really. And it's funny. Um, everything says concept work. Not final. Pretty cool. Uh, Pine Size Hero. Here's another one. You. Uh, these are pretty cool, actually. Um, and it's the uh, Street Fighter. Uh, are now Pine Size Heroes. And little cool guys. Um, you know what they should make on these things? They should put like, a little thing that they, like sticks. Because these things are impossible to stand up. If they put a little thing that sticks on it, that's pretty cool, I guess. But, again, um, I won't be picking these up. But I'm just giving suggestions. Just so it sticks. Because these things are bad. Like, you might put it in your car and just have them stick there and not fall over. Let me know if you think about that. Alright. Um, uh, what is this? Alias Pop. Um, go on the cover with not one, not two, but four different versions of Sydney Bristow. I'm not sure who she is. Whew, coming in 2017. Not too sure about that one. I uh, just don't know the show about that. I right, London reveals Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants is headed to the big screen this summer. I don't know if this has to go with that big baby movie. Uh, probably not. Here's your first look at a couple of pops. It would be pretty cool if they uh, worked together and made a movie. Because it looks just like that other character. Um, coming in 2017. London Toy Fair reveals my hero, uh, Akamiya, I don't know, and Death Note Pops, uh, Nortro Dorbs. We are excited to bring two more animated titles into the mix. My hero, Aka, Akadema, I don't know, and Death Note plus Nerado Dorbs 2. Here's your first look at their concept. Uh, my hero, and then we got all my. That's really pretty cool looking. I like that. Uh, I really a lot, uh, much a lot. 
Uh, you got your next one. Look, like you got uh, some hockey pads on. Another one, another one, another one. Pretty cool. Some of them are really cool. That one must be his un, uh, unmasked version. Of me. And then coming in 2017. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And was that the top? Yes, it was. Oh, no, it's going, going down. Going down, baby. We got a whole page here. Bam. Next up, one of the Toy Fair reveals. Twin Peaks uh, pops an action figure. We don't say action figures on here. All right, you got Dale Cooper, you got the Log Lady, you got Laura Palmer, you got Audrey Horn, Bob, the Bob man, and Leland Palmer. C close your eyes, folks. Don't look at these. All right, now we're back. Uh, London Toy Fair reveals Donnie Darko Dorbs. Again, not too uh, familiar with this as well, but you people like Dorbs, and they keep buying, building them. Uh, London reveals Mr. Robot Pops. Again, not too familiar with it, but that's a pretty cool outfit, uh, especially with the book bag. I like that a lot because if you want to do a custom and of yourself, uh, if you're in high school or college, this even if you had a child, you can use that custom as that uh, for, as a starting point for you. Uh, going down, going down. Now a nice little concept, and I think that is it. Nope, we got one more. Oh my god. This is all in the past since I left at, I don't know, 11.30. It's 6.15 right now. Uh, retro video games. What? Mystery minis. What? I was hoping it, I hope I was, I really thought that was going to be a Yoshi. Oh my god. <gasps> that means Nintendo partner that we get from. But we didn't. Uh, let's go over it real quick. Attention retro fans. Collect all of your favorite retro video game characters from Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Cubert, Frogger, Mega Man, and Dig Dug. Oh, I like Dig Dug actually. Played that game a lot. Um, with the new retro video games mystery mini set. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. The Mega Man one. Mega Man, Dig Dug. Imagine that was... Yoshi? That would have been crazy. London Toy Reveals, uh, some Resolver Dogs Pops. Okay, um, some more characters from the show. Resolver Dogs. I don't even know a lot of these shows. If you guys know these shows, let me know in the comments. Um, some are pretty cool. I love when they put the blood on it. Uh, next up, Mass Effect. A uh, huge video game. Huge video game. One of the best, uh, kind of video games for an RPG that they ever made because whatever you said in the game had a different effect. Like remember when you used to read that book in like elementary school, it says turn to page 37 or 46. And then you go, oh, we'll turn to 97 or this and you could choose which one. That's the kind of game it does and then you can actually transfer your character from the first game to the second game to the third game. Very cool uh, uh, idea that they came up with there. Um, and there's two of those guys, you got Sarah and Pleb. Pleb, PB. Uh, next up, Ghost in the Shell. Ah, man, is it this thing is in Paris or something? Because I have no idea of, of any of these guys. Uh, one of the biggest Magnus uh, series is coming to big screen, and it, we're celebrating with Pops. All right, so another movie coming to the big screen that I'm not too familiar, familiar with, but it's here. Yeah, this one looks pretty cool. I'm not going to pick it up, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, London reveals. Oh my God! <sighs> does that say Lord of the Rings? It says Lord of the Rings. It doesn't say Lord of the Rings. It does say Lord of the Whatever it says, if it's Lord of the Rings, I'm just gonna buy them now and just charge. Just charge me now. I have an obsession with Lord of the Rings in my life. <sighs> oh my God! Funko is proud to introduce the latest series of Lord of the Rings pops. Frodo Baggins, Sam Wise, Gad Gandalf to Saruman. Nazgul, Twilight Ring Wraith. There's something for everyone. Beware of the six inch Bullrog Pop! Oh, I just, this is the first time I've ever seen this. This is, this is so freaking up. What I wish they would do is make Urukai. Urukai, Lurch. Oh my god, Lurch is by one of my favorite characters. Um, and the Urukai is, if I was going to play in the game, one of my favorite um, 
people to pick. You got Isengard uh, is usually the one. Uh, the dwarves. You got the elves. You got the men. You got Mordor. Isengard with the Urks and the Urukai is freaking the best. That's my favorite one. Oh, let's look at these. Oh my god. I wish this one. That's what I'm ready to say. I wish they took these two out. This one's pretty cool. Take this Bilbo out. Take this Bilbo because we really have a, uh, a clear Bilbo. And this is nice. Oh, Saruman looks dope. Ring Wraith. Oh my god, Balrog. We're getting two of them. Take them out of the box. Can't help it. <sighs> Take your Lord of the Ring pops on. If they made Lord of the Ring pops um, once every week, I buy them all every week. So keep that in mind. And they got key change of uh, Frodo and Gandalf. But seriously, this is so awesome that they're keeping up with this. I hope they continue. Um, in Europe, Lord of the Rings is like the Holy Grail, the Holy Grail of stuff. Like, Lord of the Rings is everywhere. That's like Pokemon or whatever. In Japan or, or somewhat in America. Lord of the Rings is the shiznit. By far. Wow. I hope that's the end because that was the best ever. Oh my god. Well, that's everything I had to show you. And we ended with a fantastic thing. Oh, turn it on. Where's the, where's the place where I throw all my money at you guys? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's get back to the video that I made originally. And I'll see you. Uh, in over there. Oh my god. Stop everything. Stop everything. They will not stop releasing more pops and I can't believe it. It looks so good. They look so freaking good that I gotta get them again. I gotta stop doing this video is supposed to be a short video, but I'm gonna begin the video as a nice and short. I think we're up to like twenty something minutes. This is awesome. I didn't even get up to the um what they hunt yet. This is crazy. This is crazy. So let me show you guys what they got so far. It's been like I don't know, less than an hour. Ready? Toy Fate reveals Space Jam and Looney Tunes. Oh, Face Space Jam's by far another great movie as a child. I have all the little plushes that they made from McDonald's um, stored away in a storage trailer. Um, still, all of them, every single one of them. Can't believe they did this. Why? Why? Why not, really? Um, let's fix that. Bam. Now. Everybody get get up. It's time to slam now. Come on and slam if you want some Space Jam Pops. Surprise them on Michael Jordan. Uh, and Looney Tunes Dorbs 2. They don't have a Michael Jordan Pop, actually. Uh, pop Movie Space Jam Bugs. Oh. Have chases, please. Have chases, please. Bugs. Taz. One by far. Everybody's... Um, any guys uh, really is like that's his favorite. Look at that that shirt, a little ripped. And a Taz Chase. What is the difference? What is the difference? What is the difference? I don't know. Oh, his teeth smiling. Ah, here we go. Ooh, they get a little bit more with that metallic chase. You know, that flocked. You know how we like it. Marvin the Martian. Oh, Space Jam. I love you. I love you, Funko. Uh, we got the uh, Schwack Hammer. Schwack Hammer. Oh, what's next? What's next? Blue Monsters. There's definitely going to be another wave to this. This is freaking awesome. And we got some Looney Tomb Dorbs. Okay, not bad. Duck Season. You got Rabbit Season. These are very, uh, very adorable. Dorbs. Adorable. And they look awesome. They look great. I'm a FUD. Um, and then we have Pete. His tooth, sandal tooth. Uh, London Toy Fair reveals The Walking Dead um, in memoriam mystery mystery minis. They're black and white. Uh, not bad, not bad. This one looks pretty cool, as well as that one. Not bad. I might get a, a box of mystery minis to get Punky some stuff to, to, to look at. She'll open up the box herself, actually. See what we can get her. Except if they're one in the 40s. There's some. Uh, London Toy Fair reveals Overwatch 2 Wave. I did not. I picked up. No, I didn't pick up any of these. Um, whoa, that looks awesome. Wow, May. Uh, McCreed. This looks really good. Oh, I'm actually shocked. Uh, Ludo. Sintra. And 6 inch uh, Renhard. As well as. Whoa, another 6 inch Mecha. 
pretty cool. That looks pretty awesome. And I like this one. And I picked this one over more. I am, uh, you know, I'm a cowboy. Howdy doody. My name's Cletus. I'm from Long Island. I'm not from the South. This looks cool too. Uh, it looks like a Titanfall one, but not bad. Not bad. Funko, please stop making stuff so I can stop after making these videos. No, keep it, keep it coming. I'll keep making my swears. I'll make it a. I'll make it an hour video. I don't care. London reveals Mystery Science Theater 3000. Here's your first look at the Mystery Science Theater 3000. Tom Servo and the and Crows Pops coming later this year. That looks. That's a pretty interesting way they made it. Uh, that would be funny if they had to make it a door. Actually. I remember when they made the IG-88, they made him a bobblehead and his head went like zero bobble on it. So they don't, we don't need to put a bobblehead on them. Gears of War Wave 2. Damn it. Damn it. I just got them all finished. Ah. Celebrate over 10 years of Gears of War. I remember playing uh, the first Gears of War game. It was so much fun. I went to uh, my friend, um, Billy Kaiser was a lacrosse player. I went to his college at CW Post, and the game just came out that day. I brought it with me there. He fell asleep, and I played all night. And then I started playing the uh, multiplayer, and oh, first time playing it. it was awesome. It was the first time they made a game like that, so it was really, really interesting to play, and I had a great time playing it. All the way I played one and two, um, and stopped there. And I was trying to get into Punky and the Force. She didn't really like it that much, so we kind of do it. But I think I might go back. Let me know if you guys are interested in playing that. Maybe we can team up or something and play a game together. Uh, the new wave includes... I got uh, Xbox and PlayStation. First editions, too. First hit the market. I'm trying to get Nintendo Switch, too. But I heard it sold out everywhere. The pre-orders, but we'll figure it out. Uh, the new wave includes Oscar, Old Man, Marcus, Dom, Beard, uh, Beard Cole, and Browmax. Brumac? Brumac? I guess they put back some cold, cold back. Dom. Um, so we got Oscar Diaz. Cool. Old man Marcus. Like, yeah, pretty much the old pops. I don't know if they were for, like, for the four. But uh, his Dominic. His Damon Five Baird. August Cole. Should have made him a little more jacked. Oh, and a Brock Bond six inch pop. I will be collecting that line as well. And that is it. So let's go. Let's. Fi this is all done. Let's go to go search for the pops that you guys need this week right now. That is that. So, with that being said, let's move over to um, the best part of the segment. What we're looking for next week. You know, that's pretty cool. But what we're looking for this week. Uh, so what we're looking for this week. One, um, the new Beauty and the Beast pops are out. They're going to be out in our stores this week. Um, these are from the movie uh, that's coming out that looks like the real life like Beast. Uh, I, I There's only two of them I would like and uh, I think it's like Cosworth and, and the other one. The other ones are like variants. There's like four or five variants of Bell. Not a big fan of that. But those other ones I definitely would check out for. Um, Ren and Stimpy Pops. Definitely going to be on there. Ren and Stimpy Pops are, are going to be on their shelves this week. Check those guys out. There's also two chase figures of those. Um, as well as the Smuggler's Bounty Box is going to be coming up. Um, so you're going to get that. Bam. As soon as that thing comes in, I'm freaking reviewing and taking it out of the box. This thing has been by far the most um, promotional item that they have put out for any of their uh, their sub subscription boxes. They, this thing was released maybe like two or three months ago, and they were like, look at this thing coming out. And they kept showing it, kept showing it, kept showing it. It's finally coming. Uh, next up, I was not able to get last week the pink uh, metallic uh, Ranger or the Hot Topic uh, Logan with the white beater. So those two guys are going to be, hopefully they're restocked at uh, Hot Topic, uh, as well as a uh, pop that I won't be going after, but he's going to be on the shelf, and that's the Resident Evil uh, Tyrant pop, only at Target. Uh, I believe he's like a 6-inch pop, uh, I'm not 100% sure. He might be a 6-inch or not. Uh, also, another pop that you're going to be able to get from your game stops and it's in your game stops right now west coast and east coast and that's blanca and it has the think geek uh sticker on it so blanca uh, uh, from the street fighter with the think geek logo on there go check your local uh 
GameStop stores out and check that out. And then um, the other ones that can be around is going to be at Walmart now is going to be the Cinderella Pops. You got Rapunzel, uh, Belle, and Cinderella. They are going to be at your local Walmarts. Um, and then last week I was looking for them. It was the three packs of the uh, Star Wars figures. And guess what? Rainbow's got a little insight, shared me some love, and then I found out what's going on here. The Star Wars Pops that they released, the two three-packs that they uh, they sent out, they got one per store. So they got one of each, so two three-packs. So one three-pack and then the other three-pack for the entire store. Oh my God, that is horrible. They need to uh, fix that as well as these Walmarts need to get fixed in general. I went to a Walmart yesterday and they and, and target too i went to target there's other target not the, they need to, to to fix their stock uh if funko is paying these companies to put items on shelves and stock space they need to make sure that they uh that these these stores aren't ripping them off i went to a a, a target and they were just sitting there um i know i've, I've read in uh, in the future that walmart's supposed to each week change up their display for Funko and they have not done that at all. I went to a Walmart, they just had mini mysteries, mystery mysteries, a mini mysteries and pops all together. So 100% um, they need to fix that. Uh, that Sweet Tooth pop too. So now let's get on to the next thing. Sweet, po uh, <laughs> Sweet Tooth, uh, the Twisted Metal character, get them at your uh, game stops. I haven't seen them around yet. And then there was the Laura Croft character too. So Laura Croft, uh, there's only one I believe, so I'm going to check that one out. So I'm going to try to pick Laura Croft up. Um, I'm not really into the Cinderella Pops. Maybe I'll get them for my niece, um, but most likely not because, you know, it's Walmart. Walmart sucks. Um, and like I said, they're not even, they're, they're, they're horrible, just the best. Pink Ranger Metallic, Hot Logan, um, Blanca, I'm probably going to check it out, and those Ren and Stippy Pops. Uh, I pre-ordered the Chase figures, so they are going to be on their way in a whenever uh, one of the things I do hate though if you pre-order certain pops uh, ex that I've learned not to chase one just if you pre-ordered pops off of a website or from Hot Topic or FYE those pops don't come for like oh uh, like sometimes a month after the release do not pre-order it unless it's a chase pretty much so if it's a chase pre-order it if not you're gonna find those uh weeks before yours actually come up so that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed uh part two of the weekly funko roundup i gotta head out of here go over head over to the doctor check out to shirley get my car fixed i gotta go get some brakes done i go to practice another day funny quick uh, quick fact today i did an hour and a half of cardio at the gym i burned 666 calories so whoopee. It was weird. 666. Six, six, I don't know why. But let's get out of here. Boo! One last thing. Uh, let me know what you guys are after this week as well. Uh, if you're living on the West Coast, let me know if they're in your stores yet. On the East Coast, most of those pops are on their way over. Uh, so let me know what you guys are looking for this week. And let me know your, uh, your top pops that you were able to get. As well as, what was your favorite video of this week? I'm probably going to go with that Top 10 Grail video. It was pretty fun. Um, but the announcement video it was pretty good, and the hunts are always good. I don't know. Ah, they were all so much fun. But I'll see you here next time. Please don't end the life. Boom, boom.